Who does that look to about resource space engineers? Now, who here, at least as far as my small audience is concerned, who here remembers this ship, the Eris C? It's not the very most well thought out named ship, admittedly, although in saying that as well, the ship's not even that old. I, I'm not really sure how, how many months old this ship is. Whatever. Um, this is a ship I made a little while ago, and it's essentially a, a technically a quote unquote small ship. You know, if I care to stand on it, you can kind of get my drift here. Um, roughly in the shape of the old the older Enterprises, and it's basically an all-purpose exploration ship, with at least a, a small collection of mods to make this possible. Um, so yeah, it's just a pretty much a all-round uh, ship for every use case you could think of. Uh, exploring the galaxy, survival, def you know, as a heavy fighter, it does a bit of everything. Now, admittedly, I suppose maybe my ideas have been running out, although in saying that, I've been a bit too busy on the Enterprise ship, um, that is literally taking up too much of my bloody time. But anyway, this ship I've had uh, in this world for a while now, the Era B. <laughs> you can essentially tell exactly what this ship is. It's, on the surface anyway, a near identical clone, I do say near, there are a few differences obviously, uh, to the Era C. The Era C is the compact Era, I suppose, and B, in this case Era B, being the big version. Now, typically, the weather appears to be closing in um, on this planet here. I should probably not do uh, video showcases while I'm on a planet, but anyway. But as you can kind of tell, as I just said, uh, Era B is a large ship version of the Era C. Um, so, you know, physically, it is pretty much a clone. Not exactly. There, are, say, there are a few differences. Like, you know, the most, I think one obvious one is those um, connectors on the side there are not there. There are actual uh, airlocks in this case. But the general premise, uh, the actual shape of it, the engine nacelles, and everything else is pretty much the same. So, without further ado, I will uh, show you inside. See what's going on here now. I did try this, but it didn't turn out. It it just wouldn't have worked out, uh, mostly because of space-wise. I would have loved for the idea of Era C being able to fly into the hangar of Era B. It would be kind of a bit ironic that <laughs> this ship could have essentially a, a smaller brother in this hangar. Long story short, I could have done it, but I would have had to had to have sacrificed so much of the internal space of this ship, which already is not the biggest uh, for a hangar. It was just not practical, as I wanted to keep the this ship's. Uh, features fairly well rounded. Um, this is evidently an exploration ship uh, with enough defensive and offensive abilities to be, I suppose, a medium escort ship if that's what uh, you wanted to do. Um, so, anyway, inside here, um, let's close the door. If I remember, this is the right button. Is that, is that the wrong button? That is the wrong button. That's the right button. Uh, but anyway, in the hangar, not too much um, space, not too much going on here. A few things. There's, there's actually a double airlock. You'll get back to that in a second. Windows, turrets, uh, cargo access here, um, just an air vent, and a few things like that. So, we'll go inside here. I'm actually using the um, the offset doors this time. It's actually rather nice because you can actually fit offset doors uh, with the uh, the slab, half slab block, I should turn my lights on, uh, whatever you want to call it. So they actually fit perfectly well um, like this, so you can have like a partial airlock, and in this case, this door goes out into here. This being the main, I suppose, staircase, na navigation, I would, I should probably turn on my cross, actually let's not have my uh, HUD on actually. But anyway, this is the primary staircase sort of system, uh, corridors and the like, this pretty much spans from one side to the other. Uh, of the ship. Now, you might get lost if you're not careful. This ship is a little bit of a warren. Nowhere near as bad as the as the really big Enterprise ship, and uh, for reference, that is the Enterprise ship. I am not going to show you any more of that. It's literally a work in progress. Um, several weeks from now, I'll probably get to, around to finishing it and releasing it. Who knows? Um, but anyway, we'll stick to the ground floor for now. Um, at least through this door here is... Um, energy shields. We have both energy and deflector shields. Although, one of my friends did kind of comment uh, when I was talking about shield mods, and this the energy shields mod is more like um, hull plating um, as far as I understand it from Star Trek Enterprise. In the, in the sense that it does just give all your blocks uh, of the ship a energy based um, health bar, as it were. So the blocks don't get physically damaged or deformed until that essentially that health bar is uh, depleted. Which I suppose is kind of true. It doesn't actually em emit a proper shield bubble uh, like deflector shields do, but in this case it adds another layer of shielding, I suppose, in the form of hull plating, I suppose, in that 
uh, argument here. Um, you can already have probably seen that there is a deuterium processor here. As we have the deuterium reactors mods, that's just to really buff up the shields. As deflector shields, health bar is based on your energy amount. Um, so there we go. So anyway, if we go up these stairs here, uh, we'll go through this corridor here, which is through this passageway, and then through here is the main bridge. Uh, which is near the front, not at the front, but near the front, um, with a few flight control things. I know there are nothing on these LCD panels, but long story short, I don't. I know scripts would go here, and I have you know uh, program blocks for that, but scripts are not something I I, I genuinely don't touch with a ten foot pole, as scripts are, are basically code, and coding gives me a headache just by the mere thought of it, rather than trying to understand it. So, maybe I'm claim claiming some degree of ignorance, I'd rather not try to figure it out. But, anyway, just, just imagine ship stats and other various useful nuances and things appearing there. Um, so, yeah, bridge is pretty self-explanatory. A few armory things left and right. Uh, shield control directly above one of these LCD things, and that's about it there. Uh, right, going to the back here. I'm going to try not to dilly-dally more than I normally do, because I can certainly talk about ships for hours. When I come around to doing the Enterprise ship, I will probably end up making almost an hour-long video, no doubt, because there is a lot to explain on that ship. Anyway, window to the hangar. You saw that already. Uh, going up here, kind of have to remind myself where things are, actually. It's been a while since I've been in here. This is refining and processing. Uh, big refinery in there. We have the assemblers here. Four of them with only a couple, only like one singular speed module. So there's that. A couple of batteries, cargo there. Another cargo in the wall. Uh, this side is basic refining. Just a couple of basic refineries there. Not too much else going on uh, in that area. Now, if I hop all the way down, all the way down. Let's go to the left hand side this time. Uh, this little area goes to medical, where um, the med bay is here. And one of those MRI machines. Um, toilet there, upstairs here. This is one of the airlocks, which I'm not doing no to go outside right now. Um, above these stairs, this is directly above me uh, the med bays, we have cryo. Self-explanatory there. Through this back door takes you to just one side of, uh, I suppose, cargo storage. Um, there's no real centralised cargo exactly. I mean, there is the large cargo container, which, if you saw in the hangar, there was... Um, uh, catwalk plating on one side. That essentially just hides the other side of this uh, particular container. A couple gyros and things of that nature. Pretty self-explanatory there. I know I keep saying that phrase, self-explanatory, but need I say any more? <laughs> I can over-explain everything. Anyway, in here, this basically crew quarters, as well as, I suppose, uh, a small relaxation area. Got just using some of the decoration assets, uh, decoration DLCs, a uh, small bar, uh, kitchen area was, I suppose, if you want to think about it, this planter here is kitchen and, uh, I suppose, herbs, I guess. <laughs> um, down here, toilets, jukebox. I kind of, I keep, I keep forgetting jukeboxes, and especially the dispenser is actually a thing. For some reason, it doesn't seem to show up um, unless I specifically look for it. But anyway, uh, a couple bunk beds, lockers, and things of that nature, armory. It's all kind of self-explanatory. Um, I should stop saying that. Uh, saying, <laughs> um, here is medical again. It's just the other, this other door here just takes you... Um, through to crew quarters in this instance. Uh, let's go through this door. This pretty much takes you to right to the very front of the ship, pretty much the nose, where there's a window, a couple seats. Uh, this door pretty much just takes you to the uh, this side of the bridge, so you can get to the bridge from this angle, as well as get out of the bridge from this angle, which takes you to the other side <laughs> uh, of um, the front viewing area, I suppose. That's one thing about this ship. There's quite a lot of corridors that kind of go to different, go to similar or same locations, as well as there's a lot more in this ship than probably meets the eye. This particular um, access um, corridor here is essentially a quick access to the front of the ship if you're at the back of the ship. As you can see, we are now back at the uh, the main corridor area, and this secondary airlock I alluded to is pretty much back out to the hangar again. A little bit unnecessary, but I added it. It's just another feature of this ship, I suppose. Uh, anyway, let's go, run all the way back to the front, go up this ladder again. Um, here was kind of a bit of random space filling, and just, just added some random timer blocks and more armories along this side. Didn't really know what to fit there, so kind of just made a few things up and just splurged stuff uh, all over the place. Uh, big ore detector. Uh, down here and through this door is the primary reactor, as you can see. Do like the deuterium reactors. Um, Gives you a lot of power, especially when you need it. Uh, through this small side door actually is a back passage, another back passage, which I in this case filled up with a bunch of batteries going up this ladder over here. 
and then round here takes you back to refining and assembly so that's where that side door that you probably saw earlier leads to it's just another route all the way back and around the ships like I said it's a little bit of a warren it's kind of like there's lots of little passageways to, um, to go around the place gyros and things um, through here is the other side of that um, main catwalk stairway area so that's how you could get to it from this side if you uh, so desired. Um, we're, under, we're sort of underneath life support here. We've got some oxygen can canisters and stuff there going up here and to the right this time. All the way above. Um, <laughs> kind of getting lost here. Here, um, more more access to the same here. You can see more of the life support systems. Uh, through this door this time, we go to this uh, singular hydrogen generator. Primarily used as a backup source. Uh, of power if you run out of deuterium or something. Uh, down here through here is yet again another side of life support. Admittedly now I'm actually recording this and I somehow only realised these things when I'm actually uh, doing the video showcase at, the, at this exact time that I have made about three different ways to essentially have at least visual and partial physical access to life support. Not sure why. Uh, I, I think life support was probably one of the last things I ended up actually uh, doing as well and I am already getting lost uh, let's get all the way up to the bridge and I'll just quickly show you the ship stats but that's about the era of B in this case um, it's got a fair bit of stuff going on here let's see apart from a jump drive which I really should put jump drives in ships more often but then I also play with the speed of light mod and I think nearly everyone else <laughs> even if they're not into crazy modding or space engineers I think nearly everyone and their mother has some degree of speed increasing mod so jump drives are a luxury and uh, not always required in my book here's the ship stats as you can roughly see 2.3 million kilos in mass rather lightweight no need to I'm not gonna bother flying it just for this because you kinda get the gist um, that's the Enterprise um, <laughs> but yeah that is the era B just a big ship version of the era C arguably a ship that turned out well when I built it at least as far as my uh, rather average building skills are concerned so I replicated it in a large ship version um, and I even went to the slight, to the not much trouble of actually putting era B on the front so you actually know what it is uh, in this case and um, arguably I probably overdid the weapons actually that's another thing I just kinda realized just looking at it there's a lot of guns uh, on this ship but I suppose, yeah, heavy, heavy escort, um, <laughs> medium escort ship, I suppose. Yeah, okay, whatever, shut up, Alex. I could ramble on for too long. So, um, yeah, I may or may not put this up on the workshop, the era B. Uh, let me know in the comments if you really, if you want me to put it up. Uh, I might put it up anyway. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence uh, about putting it uh, on the workshop. But, like I said, just let me know in the comments if you uh, want it up in the workshop and I'll hopefully get off my lazy ass and do so. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the era B. So like I said, let me know what you think of the ship down below in the comments. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want us on the on the workshop. Uh, links to my Discord in the description as always. As you know the drill by now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.